was Diamond Trading Company Site Week, so our site expert Avi Krawitz joins us to share observations from the June site. Avi. Thanks, Jeff. It was a relatively short but busy June DTC site, which ended Wednesday with an estimated value of $650 million. De Beers raised prices on certain items, mainly for the fine, better quality categories, while prices for cheaper Indian-type goods remained relatively stable. Feedback from the site indicates a strong demand for RAF from site holders, who it appears have been spurred on by a positive JCK Las Vegas show. The site brings DTC sales during the first half of 2011 to the $3 billion mark by our estimates, which represents a 14% year-on-year increase. Given the price increases so far, this, was, this would indicate that De Beers' supply volumes have been basically in line with 2010 levels. But the question everyone is asking now is whether the strong price increases seen in the first half of the year will continue in the second six months, or if some stability will now settle in, as was the case one year ago and as many have predicted. While the positive mood in the polished market since Vegas suggests that further increases may be in the works, ultimately, only time will tell. But we'll be keeping an eye on things as always, Jeff. Thank you, Avi. U.S. department store sales in May slipped 3% year-on-year, reflecting what most economists are concluding as a possible plateau in spending growth. But retail consultants at Unity Marketing found brands that are differentiating themselves right now are winning their share of the consumer wallet despite contracting retail sales. Following all three Las Vegas trade shows, take note of those diamond brands that invested in themselves to create that extra punch, that distinguishing design or value-add service that sets them apart to attract consumer excitement. You can watch examples of these success stories on our Diamonds.net video page. Brand uniqueness is even more important though now when it comes to counter sales, says Unity, because their latest survey found that while wealthy households have accounted for much of the retail growth this year, that high income bracket is showing signs of pulling back. There seems to be a willingness of middle incomes to spend though, according to the latest Daily Gallup consumer spending survey. Look at this very recent uptick in consumer outlays for a three day rolling average. Gallup shows the 14 day rolling average is basically flat from a year ago but that three-day is running a good 30% higher. So be sure your brand is actively tapping the broader income categories, tell your story and create product excitement, build your social media following, stand out and get noticed and grab market share. Here is a look at how precious metals prices have performed this past week. For all the latest industry news, be sure to check diamonds.net.